the um, when we look at the evidence for exercise in the literature, what we see with Achilles and Nopti is that there are a lot of different ways of doing exercise, and it is usually uh, things like um, you know progressive exercise or eccentric based exercise, like the Alfredson, where they um, where they modif- where they just focus on eccentric, or the Silbernagel program, where it's a progressive going from uh, you know concentric eccentric, then going to uh, then going to eccentric, and she also adds plyometric and speed um, with the Silbernagel program. There's also the heavy slow resistance, which is really just getting them into the gym and loading heavy. Um, you know, and that one's more progressive in terms of load intensity. Um, but what we find when we look at the evidence for outcomes in these programs is that there's not really much difference between them. So um, there's 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 probably a little bit of evidence to say that maybe some of the other programs are better than the Alfredson program if you look at those those ones, uh, but um, overall, when you're looking at the outcome of pain, there doesn't seem to be much difference in all those programs. So um, my advice to clinicians is if you're dealing with someone who has got a problem where you're just trying to um, get them to tolerate loads uh, better, it probably doesn't matter very much which exercise program out of all those programs that you choose, as long as you're progressively bringing in a load that is more and more, that is challenging their system uh, to cope with external challenges. Um, where it does get a little bit more um, uh, a requirement to look at the loading type you're doing is when someone has uh, an impairment in terms of their strength. So, for example, when you find that they've got weakness in their calf, um, then you need to do an exercise program that is able to recover uh, whatever that calf impairment is. And that's where the argument for the heavy slow resistance program is probably strongest because um, that's probably the program that is most likely to bring about improvements in strength. Um, Because what we see from a lot of studies is that when you do the Alfredson program and even some of the other programs, people don't necessarily get improvements in strength. So even though they're doing all this exercise, the calf strength doesn't go up. Uh, so, so, so my my advice is look at the patient you have. If they have a strength impairment, you probably do want to do something that is able to address that strength impairment, and it could be the heavy slow resistance. Otherwise, it may be patient centered where you can do a, a number of different exercise approaches as long as you're progressing load uh, and the patient has a good understanding of their problem um, and good education, then they're probably going to have a good outcome uh, regardless of the type of exercise that you do.